All right, so uh, this is going to be Scorpio Sun Moon and as well rising weekly a uh, business and career tower reading February 10th to February 16th uh, 2020 and in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website as well a link to your other video of the week which is going to be focused on a, a love and relationship so for us Scorpio the first card which stands for the topic in terms of a business and career that is to be the five of cups here followed by the next one which represents the energies that are going to support the uh, the topic itself uh, we have the king of wands third card that is going to stand as the challenges that we need to overcome throughout the week that will be the six of wands fourth card it is about the gifts and the blessings that you that we can enjoy for throughout the week here that will be the uh, ace of cups then what we have it is what kind of impression we are going to uh, make in front of everybody around or kind of like what kind of a message we are to send into the world it's because we do have the world card so i generally how other people are going to take on us that is to be the uh, world card and the last one that we are facing here is the guidance the tower is offering to us that is to be the magician all right so um a bit of a um how can i say it? a bit of a rough week it is what we are to have in term of uh, in term of business uh, and career that is for a reason being is because not many things are going to turn out the way we have expected them to turn out and we have to simply kind of like tackle with them on fly or on go so these are the cards that are marking the physical aspect of the uh, of the week in term of business the first one which is uh, the uh, energies here that are supporting the topic itself they kind of speak for our growing uh, tenacity and our growing ambition as well in terms of to make ourselves successful and that is kind of like a uh, true for everybody in this world because everybody wants to be successful however with us those energies are pointing that we can this time around for, throughout this week to make something um, how can I say to make something in order to manifest our ambition whatever our ambition is either for a private business either for a, a new um, services that we are providing or either to jump into more how can I say it, more important matters into our business the thing is that with the um, king of wands it's like these energies are gonna make us to strive for perfection and that could be our downfall really because uh, as we stray for perfection here the results may not meet our expectations which is going to be the topic itself so our own criterias that is what makes us displeased or even discontent at certain points with the results of our work for the time being for the duration of the week that is so with the five of cups here uh in term of a business and career and the circumstances you know and the topic itself it does point to slight to moderate uh disappointment and as well certain losses that we may think we are suffering for throughout the week okay but this disappointment and those losses are not going to be that severe to make us stop doing what we are doing okay and as um, i can give myself as an example here as i have uh, transformed the weekly videos into business and career instead of just one general reading it's kind of rough okay it's uh, i thought that i'm gonna be able to tackle with them for a certain amount of time i was wrong that wrong it takes so much more effort from my from my end to do it so uh, it's kind of like it's a process of learning how we can adapt to this new mm, a new ambition of ours so we can be cost effective if you will or efficient it is the other word so uh, in that particular aspect here whatever 
results you are dissatisfied with for throughout the week moving into your career into your business or into the job that you're working or or in generally with the projects that you are tackling in now that is not the end of the line okay it is just it's not something that is irreversible and you can definitely become better uh, into what you are doing you can definitely learn okay and you can you can definitely achieve a greater results moving forward into the future so while we are this week going to stray for perfection and we may not meet those expectations of perfection throughout this week february 10th to february 16th that doesn't mean that we cannot go to that perfection moving forward into the future and it's just the only thing we gotta do it's try try it in a different way in a new way it is just you know kind of like we have to make actions toward that uh, toward that ambition of ours and of course that ambition could be something quite big you know it could be uh, a different kind of job a different set of a uh, career fields etc etc another thing about uh, the week itself here in terms of energies it is uh, that uh, we are to experience joy and glee of um, you know the things that we are doing so the problem is not going to be our tasks and our responsibilities the problem for us that is is going to be the results that we are achieving and not because they're going to be bad once again it is because we, we would kind of feel that we could have done it better so next one here it will be in terms of challenges that we have to face that will be the six of wands and the only challenge that the six of wands uh it kind of well it's actually a couple of challenges here first of all is the discouragement that we may face so as we said was, as I said with uh, with the cards it is that we may not meet our own expectations and that could be quite discouraging and as it is quite discouraging some of us may decide to just you know leave it aside drop it off and just keep up doing the ordinary way beforehand that we have been doing things or just switch it to more easier way around which with the six of wands it should not be an option available for us for throughout the week because the six of wands points that uh what we have throughout the week whatever results we are to achieve with our work throughout this week they are just like a stepping stone it's not something major in a sense of a conclusion okay and we can definitely improve on it we can definitely build on it so it's what my point here is that whatever results we are to have throughout the week should not be a prerequisite for us to stop doing what we plan to do moving forward into the future and the other uh, the other challenge here is to disregard the lack of uh, recognition because we may not be exactly appraised for what we are doing throughout the week and for the efforts we are putting in but that is once again a temp a, a temporary thing and not permanent one and once the 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 whole product is finished and probably in the upcoming weeks you know we learn uh, better methods how to incorporate ourselves people are going to give us more and more appreciation more and more recognition therefore more and more rewards so the next one it is about the gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy throughout the week that is the ace of cups and in career and business reading especially as gifts and blessings the ace of cups is the new way okay it is um uh the, the new idea or, or the uh, how can i say it uh, the new it, it's the newness and i will give myself as an example once again so if uh, as i have transformed those weeklies um and separate the uh, career and relationship being one different from one another uh, as a gift and blessing the ace of cups to me says that that is the way i should move forward so even though i, I may not meet the expectations you know of these videos that week it is something new that definitely can grow it is just that is the gift and uh, the gift and the blessing that um whatever idea or whatever ambition we have as our fuel and as and as our drive to move on forward it's it's gonna grow okay maybe and it's gonna grow not exactly in this week but further down the road 
into the future. And one more gift and blessings with the Ace of Cups is that we can enjoy here is that some issues that we are kind of like stressed about, they will not disappear, but they will start, but they will become irrelevant. Okay, so we will have to deal with them no longer. Uh, and someone else will have to basically, you know, tackle w w with those, uh, with those plights and with those problems. And uh, finally, as a gift and blessing, the Ace of Cups kind of points to the exhilaration of uh, the job that we are doing, that is to transcend our daily routine and our daily reality as well into something much more a, a pleasant and uh, uh, some, something much more pleasant to be experienced and um, as a uh, enterprise and as well much more exhilarating uh, routine. Uh, next one, it is uh, how people are going to see on us and what kind of impression we are going to give into people. So with the world card, People are going to see on us that we are exactly as where we are supposed to be and that we are doing exactly what we are supposed to doing. So in other words, people are going to be pleased with, uh, with our performance. Your boss is going to be quite pleased with your performance. Your supervisor is going to be pleased with your performance. Your audience is going to be pleased with your performance. We're not pleased, but let's say that they will see your, it's kind of like they're going to see you complete. Okay. So that's that's what the, the the world card here is pointing that you are doing what you, what you sign for to do all right or what you are good at to do and uh it's kind of like encouraging to keep on into that same direction all right so just before we go to the um guidance card here into the reading scorpio i yeah it's not gonna be that of a uh how can i say it's a happy week for us in terms of business and career but once again it is because we alone are restricting ourselves with our expectations and if we don't kind of abandon our idea it could go for a, a long long way we should just not deviate from the path that we have chosen currently for our future career unfoldment and the last one here it is the magician which is the guidance first things first you have or we have a lot to learn how to uh, perfectionize uh, the the performance moving forward with our new job you know with the new project or with the tasks that we have found a better way to do the other thing about the magician it is that we have to also incorporate our communicational skills into the matter meaning that we have to talk a lot about ourselves amongst the colleagues and about uh, what we came up with in terms of solutions to our business problems and finally the magician here points as well that um, we may it will be beneficial for us to learn something new in term of uh, in term of our field of a career expression and as well that whatever actions we are to start doing and performing throughout the week in term of you know business unfoldment they should be supported with a very very strong determination meaning that whenever we go to do something people will have to see that we actually mean it okay so that being said, Scorpio, this was our uh, weekly tarot reading for business and career. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and as well a link to your other video of the week, which is focused on a love and relationship. So hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.